Number 10. All Communication Devices No matter how much running, jumping, fighting, climbing, and action stunts are displayed in the movie, that incredible directional microphone which is buried inside our actor's ear canal is perfectly capable of somehow picking up the conversations exchanged during the time of tasks. Throughout the whole movie series, we are constantly being amazed by the incredible use of these supersonic communication devices. Most of the tech in this series is something I would never actually use day to day, but it would be great to have my hands on this tech gadgets. In the earlier Mission Impossible films, you'd often see an IMF team member slip a tiny goo guy in their ear and do a communication check. Most of the main characters such as Ethan, Benji, Luther, and Isla are always connected in radio contact with each other even though we don't see them using this particular ear device. Number 9. Water Drop Clicker – Ghost Protocol The water drop clicker doesn't have much screen time is only featured for a few minutes. After using it twice or thrice, they immediately drop the gadget's use and proceed on with the task. Though the water drop clicker isn't much of a significant device with vital properties, I think the gadget can be used for distracting the enemy team. In the Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, when Ethan and Benji attempt to get inside the concealed vault to get the hidden documents, the primary mission would be to distract or confuse the security guard sitting in the front. Benji uses the drop clicker to make the guard check the nearby stall, expecting to see a broken or leaking tap, and when the coast is clear, the MIF agents have enough time to put up their next cover-up. It is rather arousing to see how every step of the MIF is carefully determined. Number 8. Self-Destructing Gadgets The IMF never fails to impress its viewers, and this time they came up with another brilliant device that would get rid of the extreme information within seconds, leaving no traces. The self-destructing devices are shown throughout the movie franchise. Whether it be in the form of cell phone booths, sunglasses, or tapes, it's arguably one of the most ideal devices needed in an action movie. Featured in the original TV series, the devices notify the classic and iconic line, your mission should you choose to accept it, accompanied by the mission specifics and an additional announcement that they will self-destruct in 5 seconds. After that, a puff of smoke discharges from the object and all evidence and proof of the message's existence would get destroyed. Number 7. Contact Lens Camera – Ghost Protocol There is a possible chance of these smart contact lenses to be a reality in the coming 3-5 to five years. This is a significant gadget from the Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, which is a small yet staggering piece of tech that would print out necessary codes and information. The only thing to do is wear the contact lens and blink, which produces fresh and direct copies of the information seen through the eyes of the person wearing the lens. The lens tracks face through red and green squares and predicts the data of each individual onto its surface for only the wearer to see, allowing speedy real-time information and tracing of suspects and source providers. In Gross Protocol, the IMF agent Trevor Hannaway tracks his selected target through a facial identification system in his microchip contact lens, which connects to both his phone and a digital database. As fast as the system is, unfortunately, Hannaway dies early in the hands of Sabine Moreau. Number 6. Explosive Gum – Mission Impossible 1996 The explosive gum was handed to Ethan by Agent Jack Harmon, who would have an early death in the movie. Surprising thing is, the gum gets a decent amount of screen time. Ethan uses the gum numerous times in the original film. In the beginning, he used it to blow up and break out from the glass surface of a fish tank based restaurant in Prague. Later in the climactic sequence, Ethan sticks a gum to the windshield of the villain Jim Phelps helicopter in the Channel Tunnel. This functioning of the gum is simple. Mix the red and green side to create a chemical reaction. Attach it to the surface you want to blast in and take necessary precautions to escape from the damage. The gum is enough to blow up any breakable surface. Strange but indeed unique cover-up for blowing up a place, don't you think? Number 5. Flute Gun – Rogue Nation The next gadget we are mentioning in this list is the Flute Gun, with some pretty cool distinctive features and brilliant traits. The Flute Gun had secured themselves in a steady place in the Mission Impossible Gadget Hall of Fame. The gadget was featured in the Mission Impossible Rogue Nation film and is a sniper disguised as an exotic musical instrument. In the film, the gun is trafficked into the Vienna State Opera by an assassin for the shady international terrorist organization, the Syndicate. After a fistfight between the stage rigging during a performance of Turandot, Ethan stops the woodwind-wielding assassin from killing the Austrian Chancellor and uses this gun to knock down the enemies, which also include two other snipers. Number 4. Gecko Gloves – Ghost Protocol Gecko gloves are one of the most efficient gadgets that can contribute a lot of help to make an action thriller movie an irresistible one. I would choose the gecko gloves as a crucial device for any action thriller starter pack because it is simply mind-blowing as well as innovative. 
Though the use of gecko gloves was only featured for a short period in the Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, the gadget along with its wonderful capabilities was perfectly highlighted in the clip. The gloves are designed like a gecko's feet, with electronically operated sticky pads on the tip of each finger that cling to any surface. The user places their hands flat against the surface to engage the connection and rolls them off again to disengage, allowing them to free climb without any of the support. In the film, Ethan uses them to scale the outside of the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, while a rampant sandstorm closes in. Number 3. Voice Changing Strip – Mission Impossible 3 Though this is one of the best gadgets in the team's device collection, the gadget has relatively short screen time and only lasts only for a brief duration in the movie. The voice changing strip imitates every tone of another person's entire vocal range. It is worn above the throat and permits its user to sound identical to the person of their selection. The gadget is loaded with enough vocal samples to match any range of tone, which is pretty cool. In Mission Impossible 3, the IMF was to disguise as Owen Davian to kidnap him without warning his security squad. To do this, Ethan Hunt not only uses the voice changing strip to imitate Owen's vocals, but he also uses the changing mask to convert himself to a fresh and new Owen that no one would ever doubt about. To complete the mission, Ethan has Owen to read out a poem that is meant to contain all the allophones of all the phonemes of English. Number 2. Latex Masks The IMF squad members are the masters of cover-up and disguise. They are flawlessly able to mimic someone who is linked with the target or sometimes even the target itself, and they came up with one fantastic gadget to impersonate people. This realistic latex face mask and makeup. Some impersonations were done with the clear approval of the one being impersonated. Also, the real targets would be arranged to help to gain access inside the target organization. In some cases, the actor playing the IMF agent would also portray the person to be mimicked or the voice of the targeted person would be dubbed. In other cases, a guest starring actor would play the double role of both the original and the pretender. Sometimes, one or more IMF team members would allow themselves to be captured to gain more access to or information of the associates they are infiltrating, either by communicating with the target or being held in the jail cell and crisscrossing their plan. Well, they do be having some clever tricks to escape the enemies. Number 1. Digital Camouflage Screen – Ghost Protocol the camouflage screen can be considered as a real-time virtual deception to trick people smartly. Though this device is a fantastic move to pass through the enemies, it's quite obvious that the contraption has its flaws and physical drawbacks. But it undoubtedly has a sturdy position in the IMF arsenal of incredible devices. The screen is put to use by Ethan and Benji to intrude the Kremlin, projecting their way down a corridor towards the guard's station. With the help of the water drop clicker, Benji distracts the guards and then moves further towards the guards using the camouflage screen until they reach the prominent part of the mission that is to get the data inside the vault. The scene is also a bit humorous of how close they were to being busted due to Benji's clumsiness, but it sure was engaging. Based on a pretty similar fundamental to the invisible Austin Martin Vanquish from Die Another Day, this particular screen uses a rear-mounted camera that traces the viewer's line of vision and displays a false 3D projection onto itself. Comment down your favorite gadget from the MI series. Do smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech updates. We will see you in the video.